On Thursday morning we woke to another bright sunny day and fortified with some doughnuts and our usual cup of hot tea, we awaited the arrival of our Mazar and the documentation from the Ministry of Health. Success! Armed with the appropriate paperwork, we rapidly head off to the border. Through the Sudanese and Egyptian customs procedures was uneventful, but still took four hours before we were on the road. As we headed north from the border, were a queue of maybe 20 kilometers of trucks waiting to enter Sudan. Later on, as we were moving away in the other direction, were empty trucks trying to go back to Cairo. So, yes, we're yes, we're another part of Lake Nasser. Um, and the good news is it's in Egypt uh, and it's about quarter past two on Thursday the 27th. Um, the other so, news is that we're waiting for a ferry. Yes, which we hadn't been aware of but and uh, our vehicle which I referred to earlier on you'll see in a minute is a um, it's a bus. We had arranged for transport to be provided for us from the border but we had imagined a car rather than a bus and in fact we were the only passengers on the bus. Kitchens are provided and fairly mod cons in, the, in this bus. This is the route that we followed from Wadi Halfa crossing the border between Sudan and Egypt and then moving north again along the east coast of Lake Nasser to the ferry crossing and we're shortly going to depart to head across to Abu Simbel. Well, do you think that's the jetty here? Yes, yes. We were very grateful that the Egyptian government gave buses priority over any other vehicle, but presumably the truck drivers were less enthusiastic about this ruling. That's our bus. As the ferry approached, it appeared somewhat flimsy and small for crossing of such a great lake. But we were assured that this was run by the military and therefore the best possible way of crossing the lake. Board, we swiftly found some charming lorry drivers, some goat or sheep smugglers, and we awaited the arrival at Abu Simbel. As the sun set. <laughs> 